body butter for your butt. Okay, let's make it. I was browsing some big name companies for some project inspo and it came across a company called Truly. They're mostly known for their unicorn fruit whipped body butter that went TikTok viral a few years ago. And while I was tempted to recreate that body butter, I was more intrigued by this product. Their Berry Cheeky Clearing Butt Butter. I wanted to check out which ingredients they were highlighting as their key ingredients. And they list three, strawberry, blueberry, and allantoin. And when you check out their ingredient list, it's at the end right before their colors and fragrances. And that's not a knock against this company for most active ingredients. You don't need very much in order for that ingredient to make an impact. In fact, Allantoin has a max usage rate of only 0.5%. When it comes to what this body butter is mostly made of, it's gonna be the oils and butters. And for this particular product, it's shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, and almond oil in that usage order. And when I saw that, that looked really familiar to me. These oil and butters are the same oil and butters that I use for my anhydrous whipped body butter recipe, except for the jojoba oil. I use hemp seed oil instead of jojoba oil, but it's pretty similar. And that is actually perfect because I could work off of my recipe as a base for when trying to dupe this product. All I have to do now is just to add to my recipe and remove percentages from the existing ingredients. And that's how I tweak everything from there. For example, as I mentioned, Allantoin has a usage rate of 0.5%. So to include that in my recipe, I'm going to have to remove 0.5% from another ingredient to keep that percentage at 100%. A note on Allantoin. Allantoin is a water soluble ingredient, meaning it needs water to fully dissolve. And I love adding Allantoin to my emulsifications, my lotions, my creams, all of my formulas that have water in it. In this formula, however, we have zero water. There is some debate as to which phase you're supposed to add Allantoin in. Some people like me, I like to add it in the heated water phase. Other people like to add it at the very end during the cool down phase. But there is one thing that everyone does agree on, and that is that Allantoin needs water. However, here it is on Truly's ingredient list without its buddy water, so we're gonna experiment here and just try it. And when I do a product, I can't help but try to improve it. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. I decided to add an emulsifying wax, and for this recipe in particular, we are using BTMS 50. BTMS 50 is a conditioning emulsifier. I love using this ingredient in my hair care products, my shampoos and conditioners. But for this recipe, it will hopefully enhance the body butter's feel on application and also raise the body butter's melting point. I couldn't help but notice on Trulli's website how they seem to have the same issues that I was having when I was shipping anhydrous body butters in the summertime. Body butters were arriving to their customers melted and they got some bad reviews because of that. So for those who ship out their body butters in the summertime and they're arriving to your customer's doorsteps all melted, don't lose heart, it happens to the big guys too. So maybe this will help with that issue, who knows? Truly's body butter has some extras in their ingredient list, a preservative to lengthen the product shelf life and a chelating agent that will help with the product stability and keep the product looking as it is in its, with its colors and its scent and its, its form for a longer period of time. It truly pumps out a lot of product to a lot of distributors and they don't know when that product is actually gonna be sold to the customer. So they add ingredients like this to keep their products as fresh and as fresh looking and smelling for as long as possible. I'm just making a single jar for myself so I won't be adding those extra ingredients in my formula. And now that that is all sorted, let's go make some body butter. So all of our oils and butter have melted and so has the BTMS 50. And I also added in some acetyl alcohol in here too. Now we're just going to rapidly cool this down by sticking it in the fridge. And I'm gonna do that for about an hour 
and after an hour it should start to harden up a little bit not all the way just a little bit and then we'll move on to the next step so here is the body butter after it's been chilling for about half an hour and you can see it's starting to solidify so now is the point where we're going to add our next set of ingredients we are going to be adding arrowroot powder and the allantoin powder that i mentioned arrowroot will help absorb some of the greasiness of the body butter and then we have the allantoin and we're just going to mix it in until it's dispersed so now we're going to stick it back in the fridge to continue cooling and solidifying and as it continues to cool let's pick out our fragrance oil when you look at the reviews people describe the scent as being a mix of strawberries and blueberries so i went through my collection of fragrance oils to see if i had something similar to that and I'm gonna try a blend of a few fragrance oils. Pink Guava by Mo Rouge. And this has orange, guava, peach, strawberry, and vanilla notes to it. It's a really nice, light, kind of fizzy fruit scent. Strawberry Shortcake by Fizz Fairy. This is a super sweet strawberry scent with that pastry element to it. And last, I'm gonna be using blueberry fragrance oil. This is from Windy Point. Blueberry fragrance oil does smell like blueberries, but it has a bit of pastry vanilla in there as well. I really like it, but if you're not heavy on fragrance oils that smell like food, then both strawberry shortcake and blueberry aren't for you. <laughs> yes, that blend smells amazing. Love it. In Truly's ingredient list, they have strawberry extract, and I have some from Brambleberry, and this is actually oil soluble, which is awesome. And last, we're gonna be adding some vitamin E which our skin absolutely loves. Not much, just that much. That amount is perfect. Here is the solidified body butter. Yeah, it's pretty solid. We are now gonna add our cool down ingredients to this and then start whipping it up in the stand mixers. And we are going to transfer the base into this bowl. If I'm finding that the body butter isn't whipping up, then I'll transfer it to the smaller bowl. We'll see, we'll start with this. So let's just move that into there. So let's see if this whips up or not. Now here is my favorite part, it's demo time. We get to see whether or not this body butter actually feels good when we try it on. I can tell you that the blend that I chose is amazing. Just gonna grab a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna try a little bit on my forearm. I'm feeling for that sharding sensation with the Allantoin. I don't feel it at all. And like a body butter, it goes on pretty thickly. Is it absorbing faster? Yeah. And with body butters, they are a lot more hydrating than a lotion, so you will feel the oils and butters long after application, and that's the point of a body butter to really moisturize your skin. Oh, it smells so good. In terms of how it feels in my hands, I don't know if I feel a difference with the BTMS 50 in it. It feels nice. I really like it. But for me, I, I really prefer the emulsified body butters that have water in it 
because it just, you still feel something no matter what body butter you try. There's always gonna be a little bit something left after and whether or not you're okay with that. Some people love, love anhydrous body butters. They can't get enough of it. But other people like me just find them just greasy no matter what. I do believe that body butter lovers are going to really like this recipe. I'm gonna continue doing tests on this formula. One of them being whether or not it melts in a high temperature situation. And I will post those results on my Patreon, which is linked down below. And if you want the recipe and steps for this guy that is on my Patreon as well, thank you to everybody who supports me over there and to everyone who watches my videos. You guys are so amazing. I love reading your comments. I love getting your feedback, so please leave them. I'm very open to improving this channel and to building a better relationship with you guys. You guys are just the best. Tune in for the next video where I make something just as awesome. And until then, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Bye guys.